pain floating around in your blood, secondary to probably your lifestyle with all due respect. I'm, you know, just saying that because that's how we all are. And then yeah. not picking on you. And then also uh, uh, the pregnancy will do that as well. All right. Take, take care, care, Eliza. God, God bless you. Good luck. Yeah, anything else? Did you, did you want to say something? Should I, keep, should I keep taking the calcium? I would. I, if it was me, I would. Make magnesium balances out the calcium, so make sure you're taking the magnesium. Thanks a lot for your call. Uh, appreciate it. And uh, let's see. Let's go to Mark Markle. Oh, Markle, Dr. Markle. Is that you, Dr. Markle? Yes. Hi, Ben. Hey. Thank hey, you for Dr. Markle. My call. What's going on? Um, well, I, I had contracted a foodborne bacterial infection two months ago called Campylobacter. Had okay. severe bloody diarrhea. Went on an antibiotic as he uh, that must have helped. Uh, well, it, it helped, but the issues never went away. Um, Here's the, but well, Dr. Marco, now, you're, you're a doctor, so you'll understand. If you take an antibiotic for a, problem, for a gut problem, what are you going to do to your good bacteria that control the gut health? And that's why I have C. diff now. Yeah, of course it is. This is the stupidest strategy, Dr. Mark. You're a doctor. Tell me. Help me they understand. Want to give me they want to give me more antibiotics. More antibiotics. Help me understand your, your brethren in the medical community. How can that's you why think I'm this way? I know. <laughs> it's it's mind boggling to me. So I'm here's not the deal. I'm not going to take that's vancomycin is when nothing else works. <laughs> they give you the vanco because nothing else works. So that's what vancomycin is. And now they have vancomycin resistance too. So what are you thinking? You know, so I'm here's the, n- not you. Right. I'm talking about your doctors. You're yeah. smart. You're calling me. Tell your doctor to call me and I'll help him out too. <laughs> so here, here's Thank the you. deal. Here's the deal. Good bacteria fermented foods, and put as little in your gut as possible. Your gut has been through World War II, Dr. Markle. Okay? You know, can you imagine your poor little enterocytes, your poor little gut cells? Can you imagine? They're in traumatized. They are in, they're like, I saw this thing on, uh, I like watching the History Channel. I like World War II. You know, that's my little thing, yeah. World War II. I saw this thing on World War II at Germany after, in, in 1945, after the war. They showed this little baby sitting on the street in some burnt out, bombed out city, Berlin or whatever, after World War II. And the baby was just crying. It was the most horrifying sight. The baby was sitting there crying in the street was all the, around all these burnt out buildings. And you can only imagine what kind of trauma that baby was going through. Well, guess what? That's your cells and your intestines. Yeah. They're like that baby. They need I love feel. and nurturing, immediamente. And that means, first of all, putting nothing in there if, if you, that's, that requires work. If you're going to have to eat, I would fast, by the way. But if you have to eat, do liquids. Bone soup is very soothing for the digestive tract. Nitrates from vegetables, nitrogen from vegetables, Doc, if to reestablish the gut environment for the flora. That means celery juice and spinach and all the nitrogen-containing veggies. You know what I'm talking about? Green yes, leafy I veggies. Do. Thank you. Okay. Yes, and I have a okay. Vitamix, so I can make juices. Doctor Markle, juice fast for you. That's Perfect. your prescription. Juice okay. fast, and then fermented foods. Get a book called The Art of Fermentation and make fermented foods. Make your own homemade sauerkraut and homemade fermented foods. Again, to this is where you're focusing on restoring gut health, not killing things. Now, if you have a serious infection and it's life threatening, I'm not you know going to be Pollyannish about that. Maybe you got to do what you got to do. But other than that, you want to be restoring the health of the gut and, and uh, improving the environment for the bacteria to thrive in. Uh, there's something else. I'm going to let you go, Doc, because i got a bunch of calls. But there's something else called inulin, I-N-U-L-I-N. You can get that as a supplement. You can also, it'll also, it's also in veggies, too. But that will also help with uh, restoring gut health, Colloidal too. Colloidal silver, can you comment on that? Yeah. You know, that's, again, that's the killing strategy. I'm not a fan. It's okay. okay. It's not going to hurt you. Just don't take too much. or even You could take a lot of it anyway. It, uh, that's not the problem, though. We've got to restore the environment of the gut so the bacteria can live in there and calm the enterocytes down. You have a major inflammatory condition in there. Got to go, Doc. Thanks so much for your call. Appreciate Thank it. You. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye okay, now. bye-bye. Hey, Ronnie in Texas. What's up? Welcome to the Bright Side. Ronnie. Hey, Ronnie. Yeah, hey, Ronnie. Uh, thanks, for, thanks for taking my call. Sure. Um, uh, just the lady on the blood pressure. I did just half the stuff you gave her, and I'm off my blood pressure medicine. So praise that. God, um, that's awesome, um, Ronnie. What were you on? I, what, did, what did they put you on? Uh, they had me on Lorsartan and amlodipine. How'd you feel on those two nasty drugs? By the way, how'd you feel um, on those? I feel a lot better now that I'm off of them. Uh, can you, you tell? Can you tell <laughs> yes, the difference? Yes. Yes, sir. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. How can I help um, you, man? 
Oh, I kind of got a double whammy here. I got uh, hurt at work, herniated two discs. Uh, uh, workman's comp's been dragging her feet for about six months now. Um, are you there? Yeah, yeah, I'm listening. I got about okay, a minute, okay. though. You got to go. Uh, okay, so uh, doctor wants to take two of the discs out. Uh, when they did the MRI, they also found that I had avascular necrosis in my femoral heads and both hips. Okay, do you know uh, what, what that's what about? Do. do you know what all uh, that means? You're, you're not moving. Remember, we, Ronnie, we're all, I don't know how long you've been listening to the program, but one of the major ideas on this program is everything is simplified. We go right to the basics. you got right. a blood problem. The blood's not yep. circulating. Avascular necrosis is when the tissue dies because it's not getting blood supply. Okay? And right. it's not uncommon, especially in conjunction with your discs. That means the discs aren't getting fed with nutrients either. So stuff is starting to get sluggish in your body. Are you in your 40s or 50s? I am in my 50s. I, okay. I'm active. I, I play softball. Five That's good. That's all good. That's all yeah, good. What do you play, fast so. pitch? You doing fast pitch or slow pitch or competitive? What are you doing? Uh, competitive, yes. Very good. I used to play a lot of softball myself. Is it uh, like serious stuff? Yes, are you sir. one of those big uh, guys hitting the ball 400 feet? 400, uh, 400 feet? Yes, sir. Is that you? Uh, we just returned from a tournament in Vegas not too long ago. So. No kidding. Are you, and you're still married too, huh? I've never been married, don't have any kids. So oh, that ruined all, my first marriage playing softball, I'll tell you. <laughs> I, I work and play softball, that's all I do. So. I know, I know exactly what you're talking about. It's an addiction, right? <laughs> I totally know. You yeah. play five days a week, you said? Pretty much, yes. That's awesome. All right, well, I'm going to tell you well, real quick because well, we're going to run out of time. I I hurt my back, so. Okay, we'll get you fixed up. All right. So all you right. got to start. You got to start first. First things first. We got to get that blood circulating. That means you want to. If you have any digestive issues, focus on the on the gut. I would be doing a food diary. I'd be. You don't need sugar. That's you're an athlete. You don't need any of that stuff. You don't need any coke. Right. You don't need any desserts. That's that's not for athletes. That's not athlete food. That's not warrior food. You need to eat like a warrior, which means protein. And it means fat and good quality fat and lots of veggies. That should be the bulk of your calories. And by the way, we're all warriors and we're all athletes. So everything I'm saying to Ronnie, this is just common. This is just good stuff, good ideas for everybody. Veggie juices. Eat as little as you need, but make sure you're eating enough protein and fat, especially after you work out. You come home from the gym or you come home from, from, a, from a game, protein and good fat, essential fatty acids, and your BTT. Sip on your BTT while you're uh, playing. Do the BTT all day long, the health that's beyond Tangy Tangerine, and the healthy start pack. Make sure you're keeping that blood sugar stable using the B vitamins and chromium and vanadium, and relax your body. Make sure you're lightening up, relaxing. Your body repairs when it's relaxed. I'd be doing bone soup as well. I'd also be doing uh, the glucogel caps, maybe nine to 10 a day. And just for the pain, digestive enzymes the ultimate enzymes on an empty stomach have wonderful anti-pain properties. There's tons more, Ronnie. If you want to call back Monday, we could finish up. And I'm sorry if we left you on hold. We left you on hold. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for listening, friends. Have a wonderful, beautiful, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.